Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome to another beautiful episode. And today we're going to be making one of my favorite dishes, which I love to eat in Goa, and it's called Lavindalu. Now, most of the Vindalu, which I have eaten, is mostly pork. Okay, but today you get chicken Vindalu. You also get paneer Vindalu, by the way. Try it; it's pretty cool. It's got a really nice flavor. Now, Joe, what I'm doing today is I'm actually doing the pork Vindalu, but I'm doing it in a different way because I'm also looking at doing like almost like a roast pork belly with a crisp crackling and Vindalu sauce. So literally, technically, dekha jaye, there are two recipes and two processes and two actual techniques which I'm combining together. So you can literally serve a really nice crispy pork crackling with a pork belly vindaloo. Okay. Now, first things first is that what I've actually done is I've salted the. This is the belly of the pork. Okay. Beautiful, really nice. Now you can see. Pork belly se bacon bhi banta hai. When it's cured and smoked, you get bacon from this. Uh, when it's rolled, you get panchetta. Okay. So what I've done here, I have salted this heavily uh, and kept it in the fridge overnight. You have to do that so that what happens is that you will get a really lovely crispy skin when we are doing it later. Okay. First things first. So I'm going to drop it here, and I'm actually making a kind of. A, a contraption where I'm going to be making almost like a boat, okay? And so, literally, like making a little roasting tray because I want to protect the skin. From getting too wet and cooking this slowly, okay. So I made this lovely boat, okay, almost like a mini roasting tray, and then I'm going to be putting in top of here. Now I've preheated the oven. I've preheated the oven to 140 degrees. I'm going to be cooking this for one hour and 40 minutes. Now the idea is I could easily. Take some of the skin out, cut this into cubes, marinate the pork belly along with my vindalu masala overnight, and then start cooking in the morning. Said and done, that's how a lot of people do it, especially in Goa. Okay. Now I'm a I have a slightly different approach to it. Where I want to be cook, I want to cook this very slowly so the pork belly gets really tender. Okay, again, you can also control the fat in the recipe as well. Once this is cooked, uske baad, I'm going to separate the skin, roast it again at 250 degrees so it gets nice and crispy. And then the pork belly, I'm going to cut into nice cubes and beautifully cook in the masala. So, literally, if you want to do a pork belly really quickly, you can cook some pork belly, you can marinate it, put it in your fridge, and then simply just fry it. That's it. So I'm going to be putting this first inside the oven. It's at 140 degrees at the moment and it's going to go in. Amazing. Nice. Now let's talk about Vindalu. Now in the 1500s when the Portuguese came to India, okay, uh, you know Goa was a Portuguese colony and what used to happen is that when the Portuguese used to come from Portugal, they used to carry meat which was cured in wine, garlic and bay leaves and they used to carry it back to India. Now once they reached India, that was an influence which the Portuguese gave to us but then what happened was there was no wine in those days so they started using things like vinegar made out of toddy, in fact vinegar making came to Goa because of the Portuguese. So literally, it was meat which was cured in vinegar 
and it was called Vind the Halu. Okay, and then the English changed it to Vindalu. And it was during the British time that all the Goan cooks, which they used to hire, because they would used to cook beef, they used to cook pork, and the Goans created this amazing dish called pork Vindalu. Now, Vindalu primarily has few ingredients, okay. Uh, it has our lovely spices, so I've got some lovely chilies here. I also have some apple cider vinegar. So normally what they do is you actually use toddy vinegar in Goa, okay, which is really nice. You can buy it in markets, you can buy it online. But I, I use a lot of apple cider vinegar. It's got its own health benefits. So basically what I do is that I normally would soak my chilies in vinegar overnight. But I haven't done that today. But trust me, it's going to be great. So I've got about, I would say about 40 grams of, of dried chilies here. I'm using Guntur chilies here. Uh, you can do a combination of Kashmiri chilies and Guntur chilies. But I think these are just perfect. They, they are not too really spicy. Uh, they give a really good color as well. So I've got my uh, 40 grams of chilies here to which I'm going to be adding about 20 grams of fresh ginger, 20 grams of fresh ginger, about 8 to 10 cloves of garlic in here. I've got two medium sized onions, which you can even chop and fry earlier, but I like to put my onions, I've got three medium sized onions, I would say about, I would say about 70 to 80 grams of onions inside here as well. And then we've got these lovely aromatic spices which go into this. Now remember, the Portuguese came along with some great spices along with them. By the way, the Portuguese also brought down potatoes and tomatoes from the Americas as well. Can you believe it? So literally, alu is not really an Indian vegetable, nor is the tomato. Now in this, I'm going to be adding about one nice big stick of cinnamon. I'm going to be adding about three to five to seven uh, elaichi. I'm going to be using a nice about 15 to 20 grams of black peppercorns. I'm going to be adding a little bit of cloves. I would say about seven to eight pieces of cloves. A couple of bay leaves for sure. Okay, nice. It's really, really nice getting together. These spices is just amazing. And then I've got over here some powdered spices. So what do we have? I have about a teaspoon of turmeric. I've got another half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. I've got a little bit of cumin powder in this, okay? So we have some great amount of spices here. Uh, as you can see, there is a, ultimately this dish has become very Indian. It's really amazing. I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt to this as well. We also going to be adding a little bit of fresh green chilies and tamarind and jaggery a little later as well. So I'm going to be adding about 200 mils of vinegar here, okay, into this. And then we're going to be making this fantastic paste. Now, as I mentioned to you that I'm going to be cooking the pork belly very slowly on at 140 degrees for one hour and 40 minutes till the belly is beautifully cooked. So we've got this fantastic Vindalu masala which is ready. So a nice plain vegetable oil to cook this. We're not going to need too much because the pork belly is going to have its own beautiful uh, rendering of fat coming from there which gives a most incredible flavor. So we've got our oil which is heating up and then we're just going to lighten it up. We're going to be adding just um, a little bit of cumin seeds, a little bit of methi, very little, okay, very little, and some mustard seeds as well, okay. I like to give this, this nice tempering before I start cooking. Uh, sometimes what I like to do is I like to saute the onions as well. So my pork belly, which I've cooked at 140, for about an hour and 40 minutes is beautifully ready. It's, it's nice and tender. I'm sure it's really juicy. 
and I'm going to be cutting that into nice big cubes and I'm going to be adding it and I'm going to fry it. Now before that what I'm going to do is let me show you what this Vindalu mix looks like. Vindalu masala looks like now what? Now this is just amazing. This is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, great. So we've got our spices on the go. I'm going to be adding a little bit of this. Lovely. So pour the rest of it in here. You get a really nice sharp taste of, of vinegar and all these amazing spices here. Okay, now I'm going to be putting some in here and I'm going to be adding about 250 ml of water into this. So we're going to give this a mix. Fantastic. So we're just going to put this out, okay, on a very, very slow simmer. Okay, bring it all the way down. This masala cook really nicely, okay. Um, nice, lovely. Let's look at our pork now. Wow. Now this is exactly what your lovely slow cooked pork looks like. Now you can understand how food creates such an amazing history and cultural background for any country or any place. The Portuguese had their own systems, they had their own cultures, they bring it across to India, we start absorbing them, we kind of customize it with all our spices and that's the reason how an inspiration and a technique of production becomes one of the most popular dishes in Goan cuisines and, and especially in restaurants which are abroad. Chefs are cooking vindalos with different ingredients, they're using different proteins, they're using different kinds of chilies, they're playing with different vinegars. You know the food, the food space is really really exciting now. So. Make sure this is nice and cool. So we've got all our, our pork here. I'm going to put the juices in here as well. And then what we're going to do is I've got the skin here. So we've got some nice belly fat here, okay, which we are going to be putting this later. And the, and the pork belly, we're going to be cutting it into nice lovely chunks. Look how beautifully it's cooked here, okay. So as I'd mentioned to you, you could even start from raw, but I love this method of cooking. So I'm cutting these pork belly with a nice marbling of fat. Okay, lovely cubes. You can see it's like, it's like beautifully cooked. Okay, it's nice and soft. Mm. It's delicious. So, we've got these chunks here, which I'm gonna be putting inside. I like them nice and chunky. You know, you can eat it with rice, you can eat it with bread. And we've got a really nice balance of meat and fat. It's absolutely delicious. So this piece of fat, I'm just gonna add it inside. It's gonna be rendering inside, so you've got pieces of fat here as well. That's why I love using the belly of pork. So now what happens is the best part is that I like this method of cooking because you know what? You are just about 
cooking the pork so tender and at the same time you have all the fat of the pork belly going inside here okay lovely so i'm going to be putting this in here and we're going to be slowly simmering this okay so we're going to give this a little so we can see our pork belly is beautiful tender i'm going to put this on a really slow simmer let this cook for about 35 minutes to 40 minutes the masalas are almost cooked okay they need a little more cooking after then we were going to be also um playing around a bit with some jaggery some fresh chilies inside and in this what i've done now i've moved my temperature all the way up to 250 degrees and what we're going to do here is i'm going to be trimming some of this beautiful look at the color of the skin it's so delicious now this is going to go back inside okay lovely and then So once this is cooked it's going to be the pork crackling which is going to be nice and crispy which we are going to be putting it inside the oven for 250 degrees so i would say for about 10 to 15 minutes So now to balance the flavors i'm going to be adding a little bit of jaggery powder not too much and always i always believe that to bring out the whole the freshness of things there's nothing then there's nothing better than some fresh green chilies here it adds to the spice and i think jo the kind of freshness or the the heat which you get from green chilies is something else you know i love cooking with green chilies so this is done uh ideally this would go really well with rice i would do a, a really nice french baguette i would even eat a nice appam with it so feel free to actually choose your choice of starch or a complement as i would call it um we got to garnish it with a little bit of coriander you know you have to make your food look look a little lovely isn't it now when you i have eaten vindalu um uh, it tastes better the next day and even better the day after so if you want to plan that you want to eat a vindalu Two days later, I would cook it today because then I would I would do I would marinate all my spices in the vinegar overnight, blend it, let the pork macerate or marinate in it in that lovely vinegary masala, and then simply slow cook it. You could go from raw to straight away like this, where you're using a leg or you're using a belly. But as you saw, I've shown you a really quick and really nice method because uh, now i know for a fact that the pork belly is so tender the fat is rendered into the sauce so you've got the vinegar you've got the fat you've got all the spices coming in and look at it is getting a really nice beautiful color to this and wow amazing so we have a nice crispy crackling on the top and it's time to plate it up we've got a lovely creamy vindaloo ready brilliant so we're going to be adding some lovely chunks of pork belly along with some skin beautiful look how gorgeous it is pork is beautifully cooked fat is lovely rendered you can see it's got a nice beautiful feel to it nice so so now we've got this lovely crispy skin you can see lovely crispy skin here 
which we are just going to be putting it on the top. Mmm, yummy. Amazing. Pork Vindaloo with crackling. Boom! Boom.